So if you haven't heard the news already, Diddy's homes in LA and Miami were both raided today at the same exact time by Homeland Security. Puffy mysteriously was in the Caribbean. They said his jet landed in the Caribbean. This is my take on it. Everyone's saying, hey, if the feds came in, they got to have something. I don't believe they have anything on Diddy. Keep in mind, Diddy is not new to this. He's true to this. He's been covering up evidence. He's been hiding things for a very long time. So if you don't think that Diddy already knew that this raid was going to happen, you're in for a rude awakening. Puffy already knew all this stuff was going to happen. He's already overseas somewhere. They don't know where he is. His jet landed in the Caribbean. If you believe that Puffy was on that jet, you're crazy. Puffy planned all of this out. If you don't think with the type of pool that he has to cover up the things that he covered up, Puffy already knew that this was going to happen. His sons already knew that this was going to happen. They might have not knew the exact time of day it was going to happen, but they knew this was going to happen. Puffy has already gotten rid of every piece of evidence. If you think that he's been getting investigated and he's going to hold on to the evidence, you're insane. Whether he did it or not, if he did do it, I'm 100% sure he's already got written of all the evidence possible. He's already got rid of all the evidence. So the fact that they're searching both of his homes at the same time lets me know they don't have anything. They have accusations of people saying, hey, he recorded me, and they might have some pictures of people inside of his home and a couple of things that happened, but that's not enough solid evidence. If they had enough solid evidence, they wouldn't be raiding his home. Now, keep in mind, this is the feds, and it's very serious, but I honestly think Knowing Puffy, Puffy has already got written of all the information, all the evidence, everything you can think of. I believe the feds are still working with Cassie. They're still working with that producer dude, Q, the uh, producer who said that Puffy was, you know, doing something with him on his yacht. Everything is going to get exposed. I feel like the reason why, if you notice prior in the past, people were very timid. People were very afraid to speak on Puffy. Now, this year, after the Cat Williams interview, everyone's frequently, openly disrespecting Puffy, DJ Academics, everyone you can think of. And this has never happened before. All of this stuff in Hollywood that happens is only a matter of time. And mark my word, mark my word, if they get Puffy, he's taking a lot of people down with him to cut that time. I don't know when. Y'all need to watch out for Jay-Z because they're coming for him next. It might not be this year. It might not be next year. But I've noticed a pattern. They've taken down every prominent black person who we've known. Then they accuse them all of the same exact charges. It's getting old now. Jonathan Majors, Bill Cosby, R. Kelly. Now, keep in mind, R. Kelly probably, he, he did a lot of that stuff. He peed on the girl, too. But every celebrity who's black who has an issue, it's always the same exact charges. This is getting old now.